Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arpen, myself Arnav Kundu. Today I will discuss on Digital Locker. Digital Locker is a platform for issuance and verification of documents and certificate in digital way. Okay, thus eliminating the use of physical documents. So I will discuss elaborately on Digital Locker. So go to the computer screen. Today I will discuss on topic digital locker. Okay. So at first we should know what is digital locker. A digital locker or cyber locker is an online file or digital media storage service. Files stored include music, videos, movies, games and other media. Right. The term was used by Microsoft as a part of its Windows marketplace in 2004 by storing files in a digital locker okay users are able to access them anywhere they can find internet connections right most but not all digital locker services require a user to register prices range from free to paid divided according to the complications and strength of the lock okay a digital locker is file storage space on servers that are accessible over the internet. The servers are owned and managed by a company that offers hard drive space to the public to store files for a fee. Centralization of the files on a remote server that is accessible over the internet enables the user to make use of those files on any computer or device with web access right this avoids the problem of localization where files are stored at home or an office on a single physical hard drive that is only accessible by logging into the computer directly okay the term digital locker was first used by microsoft as a proprietary name for part of its Windows Marketplace service. At that time, it enabled customers to download purchased applications from the company's servers. Okay, a copy of the application was placed in the customer's digital locker so it could be downloaded again in the future if needed, such as when the customer upgraded to a new computer and wanted to restore these purchased applications. Okay. This service was designed to take the place of physical delivery of software in the form of CDs and DVDs. Centralization of programs on a company controlled server was designed to change the customer experience offering immediate access to the software purchases via download, protection against loss or damage of a physical disk and upgrade management. Okay. Digital lockers are now part of cloud computing terminology. Okay, cloud computing is the movement towards browser based applications and off site file storage where programs and files are located on centralized servers managed by a technology company and are accessible from any internet enabled device for a fee. The digital locker is the customer's allotted space on the server where he or she can log in and manage his or her material. Okay. Digital lockers as opposed to simple file storage services are typically associated with digital distribution. A commercial store where you can buy content such as Stream, Google Pay, Amazon and iTunes. Okay. Digital lockers are often used as a way of controlling access to media via digital rights management known as DRM. Services such as Steam, Origin, Voodoo and others offer to users the convenience of a digital locker in exchange for the control of DRM. Right? There are basically two popular configurations of the digital locker and there the first is multimedia focused it enables the storage of media files such as songs photos movies and videos 
to allow customers to enjoy their entertainment files on any connected device okay companies that offer this service price is based on how much space the customer needs to store his files right and the second configuration also enables storage of regular files in addition to media files it also stores data for personal information management such as calendars and contacts the information across devices right this type of digital locker can also enables document collaboration where multiple people are assigned permission to access and edit certain files in conjunction with others right now we talk about dg locker which is introduced by indian government right dg locker is an indian digitalization online service provided by ministry of electronics and information technology in short meity government of india under its digital india initiative dg locker provides an account in cloud to every other holder to access authentic documents or certificates such as driving license vehicle registration academic mark sheet in digital format from the original issuers of these certificates right it also provides 1 gb storage space to each account to upload scanned copies of legacy document okay users need to possess an other number to use dg locker for sign up the other number and the one time password sent to the other registered mobile number need to be entered right now we talk about some part of dg locker the beta version of dg locker service was rolled out in february 2015 and launched by prime minister of india on 1st july 2015 the storage space provided was 100 mb initially and was later increased to 1 gb the individual file size for upload cannot exceed 10 mb right in july 2016 dg locker recorded 20.13 lakh users with a repository of 24.13 lakh documents the number of users show a large jump of 7.53 lakh in april when the government had argued all municipal bodies to use dg locker to make their administration paperless right now we talk about the structure of dg locker each users digital locker has the following sections and they are like my certificates this section has two sub sections one is digital documents okay this contains uris of the documents issued to the user by government departments or other agencies the next type is uploaded documents this sub section lists all the documents which are uploaded by the user each file to be uploaded should not be more than 10 mb in size only pdf jpg jpeg png bmp and gif file types can be uploaded okay next section is my profile This section displays the complete profile of the user as available in the UIDAI database, right? Next section is my issuer. This section displays the issuer's names and the number of documents issued to the user by the issuer, okay? Next section my requester. This section displays the requester's names and the number of documents requested from the user by the requesters, okay? and the last one directories that this section this section displays the complete list of registered issuers and requesters along with their uris okay targeted at the idea of paperless governance dg locker is a platform for issuance and verification of documents and certificate in a digital way thus eliminating the use of physical documents right indian citizens who sign up for a dg locker account get a dedicated cloud storage space that is linked to their other number okay now we talk about some security measures of dg locker the following 
are the security measures used in the DigiLocker like 256-bit SSL encryption, mobile authentication based sign up, ISO 27001 certified data center, data redundancy, timed log out and security audit. Right. The following are the key stakeholders in the DigiLocker system and the stakeholders like issuer, requester and resident means the citizen. In case of issuer, entity issuing e-documents to individuals in a standard format and making them electronically available. Example, CBSE, registered office, income tax department, etc. Requester, entity requesting secure access to a particular e-document stored within a repository example university passport office regional transport office etc and the resident or citizen an individual who uses the digital locker service based on other number and the following diagram shows how digilocker works okay the digilocker platform has the following benefits and what are the benefits citizens can access their digital documents anytime anywhere and share it online this is convenient and time saving right it reduces the administrative overhead of government departments by minimizing the use of paper right digital locker makes it easier to validate the authenticity of documents as they are issued directly by the registered issuers right self uploaded documents can be digitally signed using the e sign facility right the main technology components of the digilocker system are repository means collection of e documents that is exposed via standard apis for secure real time access next one access gateway secure online mechanism for requesters to access e-documents from various repositories in real time using uri uniform resource indicator next one digilocker portal dedicated cloud-based personal storage space linked to each residence other for storing e-documents or URIs of e-documents. Okay. I hope that you have understood today's topic. For more videos, keep watching my channel Technical Arquin. Thank you and bye-bye.